actually tell her at what point in the show her she was going to be here, so hopefully she is here. Uh, Molly Lewis. Um, I am happy to introduce the ukulele melee. Uh, if you please, well, there's the one. I think sort of line yourselves up along the front of the stage is what I'm going to say. So I'm going to step on this beautiful violin over here. I will do the dance. That's fine. So the ukulele melee first formed, I think, on Joko 2, when our friend Alice was still on the ship. Um, and one of this, yes, if you're, the sh if you're a short, please step forward. I can't talk to the people and conduct the mail at the same time. Um, but this is one of the most densely creative groups of people I've ever been, had the privilege of being a part of. Um, the crews in general, and I feel so fortunate to have been able to return and to meet really people of all kinds of creative stripes and expressions. Um, and so it, I hope I, I speak for us all when I say that the Joko Cruise really feels like home. And, and folks like, like Sarah and every talented person that has already been on this stage, um, really it's a feeling of community like I haven't found anywhere else. Uh, and so that's why we chose this song. Um, if you could help us out actually. Uh, if you could snap follow Annika right there on them twos and fours. Two, three, four. Oh, no, no. Some auxiliary. <laughs>
Molly if she would be a part of the show if she immediately asked if she could bring the melee. And I said, of course you can. I didn't know at the time what song she was teaching them. When she sent me the song, I had never heard it before. Uh, and let me tell you, Molly's version is much more beautiful than the original. Uh, yeah. She was like, uh, uh, I am so honored and delighted that you were willing to do that. That was You're great! Wonderful. Woo! Uh,